Hey there guys, this is TC Made with TC Gaming. Wanted to bring you an update for the Ascent Combat Framework ACF version 2.0 for Unreal Engine 4.27. The easy way to do this, if you've been trying to install this recently, um, go to your installed plugins, make sure that you have removed the Ascent toolset or the Ascent Combat Framework, uh, whatever current versions you had in there, for 4.27. Then what you want to do is go down to your system tray, and go over here and exit from your launcher when you go back into your epic games launcher after successfully exiting you should be able to go into your library and from your library you should be able to go down to your plugins and your uh, vault categories and type in ascent and you should see if you have all your categories on you should see the framework here and you would just hit install to engine and when you hit install to engine you're gonna see the opportunity to do it in 427 now I've already got this both installed in my engine for 427 but that'll give you the most recent version then what you want to do is navigate over to the discord channel for ascent combat framework and you want to go into the ACF links directory and you want to download the current sample this is 427 sample and you just simply right click on this and say download once everything's been downloaded you would be able to open that package up extract it to a local directory and then launch the file that's inside that should get you up and running and then once we have that installed we'll talk real quick about how to localize the plugin so that you can make changes to things without breaking the overall code bear in mind that when you do this you're also going to lose the ability to get automated updates however comma you should be able to uh, install future versions manually if required once you've extracted your package out you want to go to wherever your download directory is for that particular thing in my case it's here and we should see an ACF directory when you locate that in your folder you just right click on it and say extract to 427 sample that's going to put that into a folder for you you can come in here right click and say open or you can just double left click on it it's already set up for the 427 version and once everything opens up you should be able to go over and click on the show and hide sources panel and if you want to make sure that you can see all the other stuff that goes under here you want to go to view options make sure you have on show engine plugin content or show engine content and show plugin content that will give you the ascent combat framework content folder where you'll have all of the uh, things that came with the new installation if you want to see the C++ code you can also go and show C++ classes and then you'll have an ascent combat framework C++ classes folder where all the different uh, components and underlying things are um, inside of the sample package here if you wanted to localize the plugin as I mentioned earlier I'm going to shut down the C++ classes, but we're going to leave on Show Engine and Plugin Content. I will go to the Ascent Combat Framework Content folder. I should be able to right-click on this and say Show in Explorer. And then in this folder, I can go up one level. And I can go to that one more, one more level up. And I have Ascent Combat Framework. I should be able to right-click on this and say Copy. And that now has a copy of the plugin. If I go to the content directory of my project, I can right click and say show in Explorer. And when I go into the root directory of my 427, I can right click here and say new folder, capital P, P lowercase l u g i n s for plugins. Double left click that folder and right click here and say paste. And that's going to bring over a copy of your Ascent Combat Framework plugins. And once that is done, if you simply exit out of your package here, go back into our launcher, we should have a copy of it now in the launcher under library, and we can go to our ACF sample for 427, which is shown here double left click that and it is going to open your project back up but now using a localized version of the plugin folder and we'll verify that that is a local plugin folder by 
shutting off some of the options. This will take just a second to load. Once we get back into our project, if we go back down to our view options and we shut off show engine content, we should still have the Ascent Combat Framework content folder left behind because we're showing plugin content. And to verify that this is actually the one that's inside of your project, you can right click on here and say show in Explorer. And you should find that that is underneath of the root directory of your package here. Let's see. Downloads 427 sample plugins Ascent Combat Framework content. So here we have it. Now we can also go into the full sample, open up ACF sample map. Give this a second to load and process. We'll be right back. Okay, once everything opens up and compiles all the shaders, you should be in your ACF sample map. Real quick, what you want to do is go to settings, project settings, and open up the project settings for maps and modes. And what I like to do is under the editor startup map, we'll just put this down as the ACF sample and also game default map will be ACF sample. This way when we start back up the next time, everything will be active. If our plugin has been activated correctly, we should see gameplay tags that are here that are part of the ACF package. Also the Ascent Combat Framework folder, which has all of our defaults. Double check your default classes and make sure that your sample damage calculator has been instantiated correctly. And also if you go down a little bit further, you have the Ascent RPG system, which has some of the root tags and everything in here, which we'll talk about later on in future tutorials. This is just a getting up and running guide. So uh, now that you have all that done, you should be able to hit play and you should be inside of Ascent Combat Framework in the new sample for version 2.0. Um, real quick while you're in here, if you hit the one key, you're going to draw your sword, left click to swing that sword. Two is going to be your consume healing potion. Three is going to equip your bow. You also can equip the bow by simply uh, after your equipment is all the way, you can also just left click and it will equip your bow as well. To shoot the bow, you want to hold in the left mouse button and let the weapon charge and then let go of your projectile. If you do it too fast, you'll have this kind of an effect where arrows don't really go anywhere. Um, you can also go over here and communicate with vendors and things by hitting the E key and check out all the great sample content that PASC has put out with version 2.0. Much more robust samples for you to explore. And hopefully that helps you understand the quick way to get started with getting into the sample. In a future video, I'll show you a real quick process for retargeting your own character onto the main. And then we'll go through and check out all the different settings and things to help configure your characters. And then we'll explore additional concepts and topics as time allows. We'll also talk about how to build an ACF character from the ground up for those of you who don't want to work with the sample version of that. There are great tutorials out there in the ACF Tutorials directory. Many of them probably still apply. Uh, for example, the one on creating your own character from the ground up. One Silverleaf had created a great package for that uh, quite a while back. That should all still be pretty similar in, um, in execution. I haven't checked it out yet. But again, my name's TC. Maybe if you guys have questions, make sure you hit up the Discord and check out all of the great content. Have a great night and good luck.